for daily ask reddit men of reddit what is the hardest thing to explain to a woman just because i don't have tears running down my face doesn't mean i'm not as sad as you this is the freaking truth this hit me deep sometimes men seem so emotionally tuned out or have such a good poker face so i can't tell Makes me sad to think all the times it looked as though someone didn't care that maybe they were really sad too. I'm not angry, I just don't have anything to say. Just wanna be left alone, so I can deal with my shit without hurting you cause I'm in a bad mood. It's hard to say it in that moment, but the best would be to say I'm in a mood, but I want to sort it out myself for now. I will ask for help if I need it, and I promise this mood is only temporary. Hints don't work. Just tell us what's up. I once said to a guy I really like you, and he said thanks. Ten minutes later he looks over and goes, way too meant like like. That nothing is a perfectly legitimate answer to what are you thinking? And what are you doing? And what do you want to do on your day off? My girlfriend sits there and will loudly sigh, grumble, and groan until I ask her what's wrong, or what's on her mind. She responds with nothing. Yeah bullshit, you just made a bunch of noise to get me to ask, now tell me. One time my ex-wife pulled this shit, so I replied with a clap and that's great, and I'm glad we had that talk. Then I started to walk away. She was pissed, and an argument followed, but it was so worth it. I don't always want to be the one that initiates. It makes me feel like a creep. When I talk about my feelings I want to be heard, understood and something to change. When we fight about my feelings it only makes me repress those feelings. Bro my mom does this to me all the time. When I wanna complain about something, or vent about my life. When I was your age I went through all the same stuff. Well if you had, have done this instead that wouldn't have happened. It's like everything I think and feel, is invalid because other people have been through it, or I could have made other decisions. Sweet lady who loves me to death. But I normally just end the conversation when she does this. How I can spend the entire weekend fishing with my buddy and still not know that his wife died. We are not big talkers. The same way he can spend his entire weekend at peace and with his own thoughts about his dead wife without being asked about it every 5 minutes. Just being with your buddies helps. Not everything needs words. Something that has sadly been very relevant to me recently. When I tell you that I go for walks and drives to clear my head, that does not mean that I hate or despise you. I can't sit and watch TV mindlessly. I need to be engaged in something to kinda open up the channel for everything to flow through it again. However I'm well aware of a sad reality where guys use this as means to go and cheat on their good ladies. Thankfully once people get to know me, they know I'm a big car guy slash love walks and hikes. <laughs>